So, we all know that song by Luke Combs, Beer Never Broke My Heart. The guy, you know, that lost that largemouth bass, that one that got away, but Beer Never Broke His Heart. This guy right here, actually, I found out what knot he was using. So, I'm gonna suggest you don't use it. For some reason, I'm gonna teach you how to tie it. And then, I'm gonna tell you what I've learned from this experience, which, I, after the intro, I'm gonna tell you how to tie it, what not to use, and what I learned from this experience, and, uh, We'll go from there. So, uh, intro. All right, so let's tie this thing. So first what we're gonna do is, here is our monofilament line that we will be attaching to our braid line. So first what you're gonna do is, go ahead and take your monofilament, this is gonna be your leader line, and do two wraps as an overhand knot. Go through that twice and start to pull. So once you start pulling, you're gonna see it kind of forms like a figure eight in a sense. So then what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your braid line and you're simply going to run it through those two figure eight loops. All right, so we've made it through that very first loop. Now, you want to do the same thing and go through this one over here. There we go. And now this is the part that kind of reminds me of like a, a uni knot in a sense. So all you're going to do is go ahead, pull you out. That's probably about six inches there and just make you a loop. And then this looks just like a uni knot itself. So what you're going to do, go ahead, pinch that two together and make sure you take your tag in and go around your monofilament line. And then you want to go around your actual braid line as well. And we're gonna do this seven times. All right, now go ahead, start pulling that tight. And essentially all that is, is just a uni on the back side of a figure eight knot. So we got that. Now go ahead and pull on your monofilament and your tag in line. Now I'm actually gonna go ahead and just pull on my monofilament line Start pulling that tight so it cinches up. Give it a nice tug. And granted, this is a 140 pound braid test that I'm showing you for the monofilament line. This is just for the video purposes. Your other knots are actually gonna be a little bit tighter than this, but this is the only way you're gonna see it in the camera. So now that I have that nice and tight, what you wanna do is go ahead and pull on, actually wet this first, wet, wet both knots, and now go ahead and cinch them up together. And then there you go. That is your GT knot before you cut off the tag ends. We'll go ahead and do that real quick and I'll show you what that looks like. And there it is, GT knot. I don't know about it, but let's go back in the shop and we'll talk about it a little bit. So yeah, guys, as you can see, that's an extremely easy knot to tie, but as you start to look at it, there's all kinds of flaws in that knot and I should have known better to even try it, especially since there's one of my good buddies out there that hadn't caught a red yet, got him on it, we had him hooked up and of all the lines that broke, that was the one that we lost that day and it broke right at the knot. So the reason I made this video is one, now people were hating on the RP knot, the Alberto knot and the double uni and said, Wolf, you ought to try the GT knot. So that's why I tried it. My mistake there, honestly, as I started to look it up later, I saw the video from Salt Strong of where they did the test and they tested it against the FG knot and the GT knot failed the strength test way quicker. Uh, if I know how, I'll try to put the link to Salt Strong's video below. Go check that one out. It explains it in way more detail than I'm telling because I'm just telling you a story that I encountered and I wouldn't recommend using it, but those guys are great. They did the test and everything. I just wish I would have seen that video before I put somebody on that knot. So that's how you tie it. If you want to try it, um, if you tie it and I'm tying it wrong, please tell me below because I'll try it again. But no, actually, I'm not going to lie. I am not trying that knot again. I did not enjoy it. I'm going to use the RP knot, the double uni knot, um, or the Albright knot over any one of those because that's what I'm just more comfortable with. The double uni I'm going to use on the boat because it's quick, but then when I'm in the shop getting ready for the day before, I'm usually going to use the Alberto. So what did we learn from this video? Well, we learned the GT knot sucks, unless I'm tying it wrong, which I could. And then as Luke Combs says, uh, beer never broke my heart. So that's 
the story for the day. I hope you guys are doing great. I'd love to see you on the next video. Hit that subscribe button. And if you thought the video was any good, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below if I know you think I could do it better somehow. Hope you guys are staying safe out there. And uh, tell somebody you love them. Peace. Shh. I've had a large mouth bass bust my line. A few beautiful girls tell me. Yeah, you know what? It's not even worth it. I'm just gonna. Hope you guys are doing great out there. <laughs> Wife's gonna kill me for doing that part. <laughs>